So I'm doing this video about <coughs> moments when you've been abused because there's someone that I know went through an abusive situation, traumatizing situation, tra traumatizing moment. And what I'm walking with in this process is to stop all thought, emotion, and feeling. And that process of stopping those three things, that trinity, you will see that with any moment you have in your life, any kind of situation, if you apply those three points, you should be left with simply yourself being here, this moment, not thinking, not feeling, but simply being here, the body. And from there you create, and from there you live. So this also applies even with abusive and traumatizing situations. There is someone who this video many years ago but I remember it very clearly he went through a horrible horrible situation their life was threatened they didn't know if they're gonna die if they're gonna live and it was the human cruelty of it and they shared their story and I remember that. Those kinds of moments. When I look at myself and my life, it's these words, these emotions, that are very specific and they are very specific keys to unlocking and describing what is going on and that will allow us to release the points and so when I look at myself something that happened was me being in a situation of feeling like I was with a friend. I felt good with this person, I trusted this person. And they got angry. And they simply sat there, ignoring me. And not only that, but me asking if they were okay. And they were just smiling, saying, yeah and looking down and away at their phone. Me knowing full well that they weren't okay. Me simply being given the silent treatment, being ignored. So for me, that was a moment of feeling like I don't deserve to be seen. I deserve to be heard that I'm not worthy of being seen, of being heard, of being cared for, being loved, being myself. And it's these kind of words, these kind of emotions, because what I decide is an emotion, feeling like I don't deserve to be hurt. That's a feeling. That's an emotion. It's an emotional, energetic experience inside of your body. Where when someone does something like that, which will apply for any, anything, but for these kind of situations where it's like abusive, it is an emotion. It is a word. 
yes, you're, someone's traumatizing you, hurting you, kidnapped you, threatening your life, threatening you with a gun, it's an emotional experience. And if you walk this process equally with all emotions, with all feelings, with all thoughts, then you can look into these moments, name it, describe what it is you're feeling, because in my mind, I can see how the mind will use these thoughts and play out the thoughts in order to describe the emotions. For me, my emotions were feeling like I don't deserve love, I don't deserve friendship, I don't deserve company, or it's like an emotion of like I deserve to be ignored. I, so, so, within seeing these emotions and releasing them being no saying no, stopping it, you say to yourself no, you say to the motion no, and that's your intent, that's your decision, and you can use self-forgiveness to support yourself, to develop your intention, to develop your ability to stop, I forgive myself for accepting on myself to feel that I deserve the silent treatment, that I Deserve. I don't deserve friendship. I don't deserve to be loved. I don't deserve compassion, understanding, kindness. But I had moments where everyone in my immediate environment, no one was trustworthy. Like they literally wouldn't care if I was on the streets lacking real compassion, humanity, at least of how I've known it, how I've grown up. And is that a very emotional, palpable feel of, of just harshness and just contempt and selfishness. But all of it hidden within a smile. That is an emotional experience. And that can be released and stopped because what they're going through they're that is just pure energy pure emotion and to stop that means to stop feeling that way with them or around them it means being able to stand, stand in that situation being who you are as an expression And that is the per point and purpose process for everyone. To be able to truly stand independently in all situations, in all dimensions, in all shoes. That is a goal to work towards. That is something to be achieved. And it is achievable by anyone. Because everything that you experience is still within you. You're always only ever experiencing yourself here. So for these moments which are traumatizing, abusive, that is the only worthy, that's really the only real way to be free and to live again. Just like how it is for anything in this process. 
thoughts, emotions, and feelings. That is true freedom. To be able to stop. Okay. 